Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Tony with RCHelp.com. Now, the last three videos you guys saw were on the transmission. Everything is perfect with that transmission. This week, we're going to deal with the differentials. If you remember in the entire truck teardown video, we had a problem with this one. And uh, eh, the problem didn't go away. It's still there. <laughs> so, what we are going to do, uh, we're going to clean these mostly before we take them apart because I don't want to deal with this. This is the rear, this is the front. How the front got stripped out, I have no idea. So first things first, I'm going to start with this one and get that over there. We're going to get our green towel and we're just going to kind of soak it down. Is the microphone still working? <laughs> Can I believe I let that thing die and didn't notice? Alright, and now we just clean. Now for anybody watching this wondering why I'm cleaning it like this, I promised the viewers that I would not use any compressed air in cleaning this because I had some comments on some of the older videos where they were like, you know, I don't own an air compressor. I can't have an air compressor. I'm in an apartment or, you know, something. So I figured I would do this entire truck and this one was, is way worse than the last Team Max that we did. I figured I'd do the entire truck and never touch compressed air. All right, so we're not worried about any of the rest of that falling in there. So now, let's get our towel back out here. Now we're gonna start on the bad one. What I am gonna do to this one though, we're gonna go ahead, take all the shafts off just to get them out of the way. All right, there's the third shaft out. All three of those pins are exactly the same. Those just slide off now. We're going to set these off to the side. One thing I do notice, like on this one here, you can see that eh, it's been twisted quite a bit. So we may think about replacing these. I'm not sure yet. Just set those off to the side. Now we'll deal with uh, this thing. <laughs> it's uh, it's bad. So I'm going to hit it with a little more simple green than what I would normally use but we're gonna just let that sit there and soak for a little bit I'm gonna drink some coffee all right it's set for a little bit let's uh let's try to get all this dirt off here well most of it anyway it's good old Oklahoma red clay like I said, all I'm doing is I'm trying to get most of the dirt off so that we're not having to deal with it whenever we open up the case. Okay, we're not going to do any more in there. <laughs> That's grease. Yeah, the wife will kill me. All right, so with that, let's uh, we're going to keep our towel here. As you can see, you got quite a bit of dirt on there. Let's go ahead and just start pulling these things apart. <clears throat> Come here. Grab our Phillips. Pop these two screws out here. Alright. Slide that off to the side. They may not look it, but these are clean red rags. <laughs> They're just old clean red rags. So I'll go ahead and set the screw there, set that screw there. We've already got this front piece off. So now the differential should come apart. And there we go. All right, grab another red rag. Go ahead and pull the ring gear out. Go ahead and take a look at this ring gear. This one actually looks really good. The uh, differential inside, the spider gears, they feel really tight. So we're definitely going to have to take this apart. But just like we did with the outside of the case, we're just going to go ahead and wipe off all this extremely thick grease. Again, if we were out in the garage, I would be using my parts cleaner. Go ahead and get these bearings off of here because we are going to have to clean these bearings. All right, now that we've got her kind of cleaned off, we're just going to take a little Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and take this differential apart. All right, got all them screws out. Now I'm just going to grab the plastic differential case and then the ring gear, pull it apart, and that'll expose the spider gears. Again, I'm just kind of looking, 
seeing what all's wrong if anything and so far it looks really good grab a screwdriver go ahead and pop these out we're going to pop that out onto this dirty cloth and wow yeah that's some uh <laughs> that's some thick nasty stuff right there guys and there's a bunch of it in there all right so because of that i'm just going to grab a paper towel and we're going to get a lot of this grease off just with the paper towel go ahead and set that right there use a screwdriver all right now i'm going to push back here and we're just going to push that gear out maybe <laughs> it's uh, not really wanting to move there it goes and then just use a screwdriver to finish driving that thing out and there we go this does have a little bit of alcohol on it i was using it to clean some stuff a little earlier and it hasn't really evaporated away so we're just going to go in here and just try to clean out as much of this old grease as we can obviously we're not going to be able to get all of it because no parts washer all right let's go ahead and grab a new paper towel here <laughs> it's uh I think that one's pretty much used up. We're going to go ahead and 86 that one. And all I'm doing is going in here with a flat blade and just scraping up each of these walls. We're not going to be able to get all the grease out, but we can get most of it. And as long as we can get most of this old stuff out, it should work just fine. Alright, set that off to the side, grab a hold of this very sticky gear, see if we can't get a lot of it off of here. So it's pretty much the exact same procedure here, I'm basically just going to scrape down in between all the teeth and make sure that there's not any really hard uh, grease done in there. If you watch my last series on the T-Max, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now for stuff like this, I did bring a secret weapon. So we're just going to, one, spray this down. No, Simple Green is not my secret weapon. Stainless steel wire brush. Why stainless steel? First one I grabbed. And we're just going to go along and clean it out. Like I said, this is not going to be perfectly clean. You're never going to get it perfectly clean if you're just wiping it off. All right, that one looks pretty good. Stuff feels almost like glue, man. <laughs> Stuff is so sticky. Oh, it's horrible. Grease should not be sticky. It should have a tack to it but it should not feel like you're messing around with glue and on these because these are more sticky <laughs> yeah break out the other weapon to clean down inside the middle of these just roll up a paper towel and we're just going to stuff it through there give her a few spins give her a little little shot of WD-40 that's miracle juice is what that WD-40 is. Love that stuff. And because of that grease that's on the end, I'm going to go ahead and just tear that off. And there we go. Now I just got to repeat that for this one. Alright, second verse, same as the first. Stick that through there. See some of that grease on there. That is a good sign. Pull that through. Give her some twists. Give her some WD-40 love. Go ahead and pull it, break it off. And there we go. Now, this one's pretty easy. We're just going to hit it with a little WD-40. And then just kind of roll it. That'll get the majority off. 
then wipe it nice shiny clean so now we can take and slide these gears on and just make sure that they do spin nice and free and that they're not you know trying to catch on the shaft or anything so those are great now for the fun one go ahead and push out that gear and we're going to go ahead and just soak it down I know some of you are asking why I was using the uh, simple green before I just wanted to see what it would do with the grease and honestly not much the ring gear just like in the last series is going to take some time <laughs> there's just no way around it it's kind of running around the inside there we're just going to kind of not really worried about what's back here but just try to get all of it out that we can take your WD-40 give it a little blast and just wipe it off now for the center hole in this I can just feed this red uh, red rag through it pull it pull it perfect so we're just gonna inspect the gears here I still see a little bit of schmoo down in here it is really not wanting to come out got it that time and we're doing the exact same thing for this gear a lot of cleaning don't worry about me getting WD-40 on my fingers I don't live in California so it won't affect me all right and the basic spider gear is done now we just got to do the input pinion and of course the case pull them bearings off give her a little WD-40 love and <laughs> same as before just run your wire brush through there and kind of look down in there make sure that it's grabbing everything in them teeth and pulling it up brushing it out whatever you want to call it I am seeing some stuff that is just being wicked stubborn so just grab our screwdriver and give her a little scrapey scrape scrape and there we go looks good to me now if any of this stuff is kind of down off frame I do apologize <laughs> it's a very bad habit of mine all right let's go ahead and get this bearing out of here that way we're not kind of filling it full of more goo than it's already got and on these spray it down wipe it off spray it down wipe it off that is pretty much the gist of it this stuff is down in here uh <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty thick it's hard and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of it out I mean, that's just that's some nasty stuff right there man it sounds like I'm cutting the case and I'm not it's just ugh. this is almost worth buying new differential cases all right we're gonna break out another weapon see if the good old toothbrush will do anything I don't think it will so get some of that down in there it is doing better than I thought it would it goes without saying but I'm gonna say it anyway because uh, Darwin don't use this to brush your teeth once you do this just I'm just saying and while we're here let's go ahead and hit this outside it ain't hardly touching what's in here so we're going to give it a helping hand and go ahead and just scoop it out. So that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be squared off in there. <laughs> this thing had a radius thing going. Let's uh, give this a little bit of love with the screwdriver. A little scrapey scrape. And like I said in the last series, if you guys do prevent the maintenance, you'll never have to do stuff like this. 
This is what happens when you just let stuff get this dirty. All right, I'm gonna give her brush a little wipe off there. I'm gonna try to find a halfway <laughs> clean part of this red rag, and we're just gonna wipe it down. That way we can look in there and inspect it. Clean our flat blade off. I see some stuff in the corner right here. That's good. Alright. Kind of stick it down in there where that bearing goes. Use what fingernail I have. And just kind of force it down in there to try to get all that dirt out of there. I'll tell you, it looks a hundred times better than it did. And of course, right here where the input bearing is, I want to get it nice and clean. Nothing goes in this center section. There's only a bearing there and a bearing right here. So we don't have to worry too much about that center section. Although we do want to get it as clean as we can. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my screwdriver, put it kind of right here in a corner. I'm going to use that to go in and just make sure we're getting everything out of here. Alright, I did bring a third rag in from the garage. And I'm just going to use this kind of like as a final wipe to get most of the excess WD-40 off. If you leave it on there, it will attract dirt. But if you just take a dry rag and then just kind of wipe it off, the rest of it will evaporate. By the time I get this truck running, probably ain't going to be an issue. Alright, this is, well, besides this piece, the other case out, this is the final piece. This time, we're just going to take and do this with a paper towel. Try to get most of it out with a paper towel anyway. Go ahead and soak it down. I didn't want it to get on that rag, but, yeah. Guess it is what it is. Stuff's like tar, man. See what we can dig out of here. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape all of this on the outside while I got the screwdriver in hand. Yeah. Nasty. <laughs> I feel like I'm whittling wood. That's about the consistency of this stuff. It is wicked thick all right set that off to the side and set that that's our dry rag all right wd-40 and toothbrush time just keep brushing just keep brushing See some stuff I missed down in here. Oh yeah, that's nasty. And what I'm digging out now, you can kind of see it down there. This was against the bearing. So that's particularly no bueno. Give her a little more WD-40 love. A little more scrapey scrape love. The inside of this, you can see it's chewed up pretty bad. That is where the drive shafts would sit in there. Dirt gets packed in there, which I had to scrape out, and it just sit there and just grinds. Again, I mean, preventive maintenance. That is what it is all about. Run your truck in the dirt, get you a little pancake air compressor if you can, and just blow it off. Just blowing it off after bashing it for a day will keep it from looking like this. And go ahead and grab our dry rag because I think that is pretty much all of it. <laughs> this has taken far longer than I thought it would. But this is the rear differential and you have all that oil from the engine coming up and sticking to everything back there. Wait till we get to the uh, suspension arms. <laughs> so really bad. All right, set that one there. Now we're going to deal with this guy. 
set our dry rag over to the side this one should be fairly easy this one has a little bit of a sharp spot right there we're going to take care of that and there we go go ahead and get all these shafts cleaned up same as before brush 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 now to get in these grooves I'm just going to use the corner of the rag just get in there and make sure all the dirt's out of it and just like that one shaft done and the last shaft clean so all we have left on this differential are the bearings they're not near as crusty as I thought they were going to be this one's tight but uh, that's kind of to be expected <laughs> So I'm, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife here and trying to cut this stuff off. That way I'm not forcing it down into the bearing. If you do it this way, watch your fingers. If you cut yourself, it is not my problem. now oh my god I can like almost peel it off uh. all right find a relatively clean spot that has some WD-40 on it I'm just gonna try to get these sides as clean as I can Force it through the center race. Check it. It is still pretty gummy. Put it on here. Now what we're going to do is take some WD-40. Put it on that bearing. An excessive amount. And then just sit here. Work it back and forth. Back and forth. That's what we're looking for. clean rag test it it rolls out a lot better than it did all right we're gonna set that right there grab our bearing oil and we're gonna put an excessive amount on it <laughs> that way I'll force the WD-40 out WD-40 is not gonna hurt it but now it's lubed. All right, this one actually still spins pretty free. So all we got to do to this one is clean it. We don't have to actually break this one free. I do think I want to go ahead and do the same thing to this one. Just so it's the same as the other one. Not because it really needs it. Come on, WD. Come out. I just want to get it in there, work it. WD-40 is a solvent. So, yeah, let's get that excess off so I'm not slinging it all over my monitors. Yeah, that actually loosened up some grit that was inside it. I'm glad I did this now. Oh, there it is. Got him. All right. That one right there. Make sure it's flat. And oil the bearing. Now we're on to these guys. And for these, we're going to let them soak in some WD-40 here for a second. I'm going to drink coffee. All right. We're going to go ahead and just try to wipe these off first which usually isn't a good idea because it can force all the gunk inside the bearing 
but this stuff is so thick that yeah, I don't really have a choice. All right, we're gonna use the input gear. Yeah, the inside of that is just all kinds of gummy. It's not gritty, which is surprising, but it's gummy. So, we're going to put that there, hit it with some more WD-40, and let it soak in while we clean off this next one. And this one's even worse, so I'm going to do what I didn't want to do, and that's use a brush on it. Sometimes the only choices you have are bad ones. Alright, go ahead and test this one. This one I can feel a little bit inside it. A little bit of dirt, crunchy. But all in all, not too awful bad. Alright, let's see how our soak bearing is doing. It's getting there. All right, for these, we're going to use some needle nose because they have a taper on them. We're going to just shove them down there on that taper. And that way, we can spin them. WD-40, because it's your friend. This one here freed up real good. This one not so much yet. It's getting there. Go ahead and flip that bearing over. Here it again. I do think them are good enough. Grab our clean rag here. Let's give them a little bit of a wipe down. Set them right there. Hit them with oil. And again, I am putting a lot of oil on those. Just because I want the oil in there. And the more oil I can get in there the more likely it is to break up that gummy, nasty stuff. All right, for our grease selection today, we are going to be using lithium complex grease. This is better than lithium all-purpose, but it's not as good as, uh, what is it, uh, uh, calcium sulfide, which is like the best stuff you can get. But this stuff uh, does really good for gears, and yeah. All right, so we're going to grab a little bit of grease about yay much and we are just going to put all of it inside that diff and kind of pack it down in there why are we putting that much in there because we can mainly <laughs> but no it I mean it really doesn't need this much grease this is not a sealed diff but that gives it plenty of lubrication it makes the diff a little bit tighter whenever you're turning. It's not wanting to freewheel as much. It's still going to freewheel, but it's just, it's got more holding it. And as this pushes out, it's going to go straight onto these gears here. All right, we got that packed in there real good. Pretty, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Kind of spin the gears, make sure it's in all of the gears. Grab a rag, wipe our finger off. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this surface off. And now we can put this on for the final time. Line our holes up. Grab all four of our screws and bolt her together. All right, put our last screw in here. Check our diff action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doesn't have that metal-on-metal metal sound as bad now. 
perfect and these I'm pushing in on these which is why you're hearing that but these are normally kind of pulled out so it's even more free that's perfect all right now I'm just gonna get a little bit of grease on my hands and we're just gonna go around this gear and just make sure it is everywhere just like that grab our input gear I just kind of spun it around spreads it out now we're ready for the case half Go ahead and pop that on. Grab our screws. And screw the case together. Grab this piece here. Slide it on. Don't forget this little bar right here needs to go towards the rear. And we'll turn it to maybe the correct orientation. We don't know yet. Go ahead and grab our shafts. Pop them on. And finally, our pins. We still had a little bit of dry dirt on them. <laughs> All the way down, back it off just a hair. Grab our rag. And clean it, because, uh, yeah, we're not leaving it dirty. Alright, so there you go, guys. Uh, differential rebuild. That was... Uh, a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I mean, come on. When you're peeling stuff like this off of the bearing, that's bad. So, it feels fantastic. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's way better than it was. I can hold this one side and spin the diff, and it feels great. It is a little tight because I did pack that center diff a little tight with grease but as it's used it's going to be forced out it's going to be put onto the ring gear because it's not a sealed differential and yeah it actually gives me that tighter feeling that i like so guys there you go that's the differential rebuild uh this is going to be exactly the same i'm talking exactly the same however i think we're going to find some broke pieces so i'm going to put that in a separate video I do hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little video. It was way worse than I thought it was. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe. And uh, yeah, ring that bell for notifications. Hopefully you guys get notifications a lot better than I get notifications. Because, yeah, they've been kind of slacking here lately. <laughs> so, guys, I can't thank you enough for watching. If you want to help out, all them links are down in the description. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next video.